And why did you want to donate part of your liver to Izzy? I wanted her to live. And you're, you have kids, right? Mm-hmm. And that just, is that the sort of that overriding thing that stuck with you the whole time? Yeah, I would want someone to do that for my kids, you know? If I wasn't able to, I can't imagine. I don't know. She's a very special girl, you know? I don't, I have three girls of my own and, you know, um, they don't meet a lot of children like Izzy. The surgery was scary and, you know, it's not pleasant and being in a hospital is not pleasant, but it's nothing, you know, to be afraid of. It's bearable. It was lucky we were making a hard sell to get out of the hospital as quickly as possible. And once I got home, you know, I just felt better. I was able to do pretty much everything myself. Um, we've had a lot of support, a lot of family, and my husband has been incredibly supportive. And I will say also, being, you know, able to see Izzy and having constant updates from Izzy there's nothing better. There's nothing better than feeling like there's a reason for how you're feeling or what's happened. Um, and it makes a huge difference. You know, I can be having a bad day and not feeling great and sort of frustrated at being stuck on the couch and recovering. Um, but there's, there's a silver lining, you know, not just am I alive and healthy, but she's also now alive and healthy and living her best life. It's incredible.